Alright, so we're going to massage the skin. We're going to start with applying your choice of massage medium. Depending on your client's skin type, um, that will indicate what type of oil or cream or gel that you're going to use. I like just using jojoba or grapeseed oil just because they have lighter viscosities and they're both non-comogenic oils. So meaning that they're um, both non-clogging um, products. So right now I am just effleuraging some oil onto the skin, making sure I have a good slip as I am massaging the skin. I'm going to start with my first massage movement is jaw slides. I'm right underneath the mandible bone and I'm going to hook up and bring it up towards the earlobe. There's a pressure point right there and hold it three to six counts. Massage goes into increments of threes and six so it can feel more consistent and fluid um, throughout your service. If your client has specific concerns and goals in specific areas, you would definitely do more movements in areas that you still want to just hit. You can go smaller increments like of your threes. Once I'm done with my jaw slide, I am going into my cheek pressure points. I'm just sliding around the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, and using my index finger and there's a pressure point right on either side of the nostril. Using the belly of my fingers, activating the pressure point, holding it down three to six counts. Followed with my middle finger right at the center of the eyes, still on the cheekbone, activating my second pressure point. When you're activating pressure points, you should feel a little bit of a heartbeat when you have activated it. So it should be very intentional. You should never use your fingertips because you don't want to jab or poke at your client's skin. You want to use the belly of your fingers. This is great to open up the sinuses so if your client has allergies. This is a great technique to help with um, con decongesting them. Now I'm going to slide down to the chin, massage the chin moving up towards the earlobe, and I'm going to be doing my cheek circles. Always working upwards towards yourself, because you don't want to drag the skin. You want to uplift the skin as you're massaging it. So as I'm doing my cheek circles, there's three sections. It's chin to earlobe, lightly slide down, corner of the mouth to the center of the ear, gently slide down to the top of the lip by the nose, circle up towards the temples. Now I'm going to go into my cheek to potment. This is going to be the most stimulating movement out of your 12-step massage. So to potment, also known as um, percussion or the piano, you're just lightly tapping the skin. This is very stimulating and 
builds a lot of circulation. So someone who has a sallow complexion, this is a great movement for them. This movement by um, wouldn't be good for people who have cuperose or sensitive skin or a lot of redness because we can overstimulate and create more inflammation in the skin. Now I'm gonna go into my lip slide. So I'm using my ring and middle finger. I'm on either side of the lip. I'm gonna bring it across. And as I hit the earlobe, I'm gonna hook it up toward this temple. Once I hit the temple, my other hand will follow the same way, all the way across to the earlobe, hook up to the temple. This movement is a little exaggerated where you're creating more of an L versus a J. Now when both hands are resting at the temples, so they're gonna slide down. Your hands are gonna rest underneath the jaw. You're gonna use your thumbs and you're gonna do lip circles. Again, going upward, small baby circles, moving up the nasal labial folds. Now we're gonna start working around the eyes as I'm done with these lip circles. I'm going to finish up, glide my fingers up around the mouth, massaging up the bridge of the nose. And these are your eye pressure point movement. There's a pressure point right in between the brows and the eye socket. Hold it three to six counts. Pinch and stretch the brows out. And then at the end of your brow, there's another pressure point that you are going to activate. Lightly go around the eyes, back up to the nose. Massage the nose. Using the bell, your fingers hook up in the eye socket. Pinch the brow working on the bone, and there's a pressure point. From here, I'm gonna go around the orbital and I'm gonna do eye circles following the direction of the growth of the hair. So starting from the center, working my way out. Then my fingers are gonna connect, my middle fingers, and I'm gonna do figure eights or infinity sign, however you interpretate it. And again, just working along that orbital rim. And the reason why I'm only using my middle finger is because the eye area is gonna be the thinnest skin, the most delicate area of the face. So you wanna be a lot um, lighter handed in this area. So this will help minimize the pressure around the eyes as I'm massaging around it. If your client had um, a little bit more concern of fine lines and wrinkles or puffiness around the eyes, you can definitely emphasize and do a lot more movements in this area. And then now I'm going to transition into forehead zigzag. So you're using your fingers 
and you're just crisscrossing them over, starting from the brow line to the temple, working your way other to the other side. Move up towards the center of the forehead, still zigzagging with good pressure. And this is considered to be a friction movement where you're grasping, grasping some of that tissue in between your fingers. If your clients had some fine lines between their brows, this is a good movement to help soften up the lines. And then once I get back to center, I'm going to follow with my forehead palm circles. So I'm just taking my fingers, gliding it. Once it gets to the temples, I'm going to have my fingers go up and just using the palms of my hands to massage the forehead. Always making sure you're also pulling up towards yourself. When you're going up, your palms are massaging up, but then as you're sliding towards yourself, your fingers kind of go towards you and hit the forehead as well. Now I'm gonna lightly glide down the perimeter of the face, going underneath the jaw, and I'm gonna fan the face. Keeping connection with your client is really important, trying to not um, lift off of them. As you see, as I'm going from one movement to another, I always have one hand placing on my client and then the other hand will move to the second, to the next area, and then the hand just follows. And then I'm going to finish my movement with around the world. So I'm just gonna slide from the center, lightly slide down the perimeter of the face. Once I get towards the chin, my hands are gonna cross over and I'm gonna kind of go back and lift towards myself. Slightly go down with a light glide, cross over, pull up. And I'm lightly laying down because I don't want to pull the skin down. And as I'm going up, I'm lifting up the skin to help tone that skin. And then I'm gonna finish at center forehead.